there and welcome to Six Figure Certified, the podcast powered by the ITC Coaching School. My name is VP Wright. I am the digital marketing manager for this podcast and the ITC Coaching School overall. And today we are going to go over five ways to shift your mindset and think like a entrepreneur. If you have been sitting at your desk or at your computer at your table for several years, telling yourself there's no way I can start a business, there's no way I can be a life coach, there's no way anyone would take me seriously enough to do that, what would my friends from high school think? Stop. Please stop thinking like that. We are going to take some time today to go through five different mindset shifts that you'll be able to work through yourself and coach yourself through as you make the decision to uh, start a new business that will hopefully allow you to leave your nine to five and change the way you live your life. So for one, we're going to talk about what mindset shifts are, or what we like to call in the coaching world, reframes. Reframes are the one idea or belief that you hold on to, i.e. a limiting belief, and then reframe into a new belief. This process is done through the coaching process overall. We're able to go in and ask really powerful questions to help shift a negative limiting belief into a reframe and an overall affirmation for our clients. When you're setting a business, you may think, hey, I have no idea how to do that. I don't even know what coaching someone through that process even sounds or looks like. And so today, I want to give you five different limiting beliefs that we've heard either on our sales calls or from students or from other people, maybe even yourself, when it comes to starting a business and give you the mindset shift that you can then put into your brain and start saying to yourself as you are building your business, get ready to launch, start marketing it, and putting yourself out there for the world to see. Also, if by chance you're curious to learn more about the IGC Coaching School, you can go to www.innerglowcircle.com and learn more about all of our programs that we have to offer. This is a great time to also pitch that, hey, if you're wanting to start a business and you have no idea where to start whatsoever, then I highly encourage you to check out this video, which is all on how and why a business plan is for you, where to get one for free, which we offer as well, and an entire guide and free workshop to work you through that entire process. Again, that's free. Tap on that video and you can learn more about that. So one, the first shift we're going to talk about is I'll never leave my nine to five. I feel like this is the first thing that we all think about when we really want to get into the space of leaving our jobs, of creating something new for ourselves, of imagining what life can be like if we were actually doing what we loved to do. I love looking at this shift as I'll never leave my nine to five to I only need X amount of X to replace my monthly income from work. Now, the reason why the X's are there is because one, all of us could be doing different work, whether it's clients that we're doing a service for, whether it's a product that we're creating and selling, whether it's an offer that we pull up and sell and put out in the world, all of that could be a variable. But the difference is that we're able to actually solve the equation by saying, I only need X amount of X to replace my monthly income and leave my job. So for example, if you are wanting to start a life coaching business, and let's say you make $3,000 a month right now, if you are charging $500 a month for your services, 3000 divided by 500 is six. So you only need six clients a month to replace your monthly income from work. Now, this doesn't have to be six new clients per month, but this very well could be six clients that you have on a reoccurring basis for six months. See how that works? So again, that shift is, I'll never leave my nine to five. Reframe, I only need X amount of X to replace my monthly income from work. All right, number two, no one in my inner circle will support me. Reframe, I can create the inner circle that I want for myself. So yeah, that's a little bit of a joke because LOL, inner girl circle. But additionally, we quite literally can create the people we want around us to support us. I remember when I started my business and I started making new friends online and in person that were entrepreneurs. I also started outgrowing a lot of the relationships around me, a lot of my personal relationships, all of my friendships. Hell, 
my marriage, <laughs> everything grew and I grew outside of where it was. And that's okay. Some things come to an end and you're able to reconnect with new people that are more aligned with the path that you're on. For me, I had to get on a new path and meet new people in order for my growth to get better and better. I needed more people around me that were going to hold me accountable, to tell me when I was right and wrong, to be the person that they want to be in me and also themselves. It's the way the world works, but we don't have to depend on the people that we have in our lives right now to be the same people that we are going to have in our lives in the place that we want to be. So again, the immediate limiting belief one, no one in my inner circle will support me. Two, I can create the inner circle for myself where I want to be. Easy enough. And the more that you can say it, the more you can believe it. Three, my niche is oversaturated. I'll never stand out. Reframe. I serve a need, not a niche. And I'm the only one who can do it the way I do. So this one is an important one because there's been a lot of conversation around do you need to niche down? Do you not need to niche down? Is what I do oversaturated? It feels like everyone's doing what I do. It's still too much. Am I ever going to stand out? And then you go into an endless loop. You never get anything done. And then you never get started. One thing that we believe in IGC is that you don't serve a niche. You serve a need. And there are plenty of needs, especially if you do coach or service-based provider work, that you can solve. And you are the only one that can make that happen. You, only you, no one else. All of our energy is infinite. We are all one of one. We cannot be replicated. We cannot be replaced. When we are here and we are gone, that is it. We are the only ones that are here in the now, correct? And if we are doing our art, if we are serving our community, if we are showing up on a regular basis and making content, it doesn't matter if anyone tries to copy it, if anyone tries to take it, if anyone tries to mimic what you do, you are you. And the needs that you solve and the way that you do it are the only way that you can do it. So my niche is oversaturated. I'll never stand out. Reframe. I serve a need, not a niche. And I'm the only one who can do it the way that I do it. Before we go into reframes number four and five, I'm going to take a quick minute and let my friend Kalia talk about our upcoming coach training and how you can get involved in becoming a certified life coach and getting your credentials through the International Coaching Federation here at the IGC Coaching School. See you in a bit. Hi, it's Kalia, IGC coach training grad and six-figure certified coach. I know you're here listening to these incredible stories of successful coaches and wondering, when will it be my turn? I'm sure you entered this year with the goal of finally stepping into your purpose. And there is no better way than enrolling in IGC's internationally accredited coach training program. Enrollment is open now and it is your turn. So take the first step by going to innerglowcircle.com forward slash call right now and book a free call with me. Your six-figure certified story starts today. Wasn't that fun? Isn't Kalia so cute? I love her. She makes me happy. Reframe number four, limiting belief. Entrepreneurship is scary, and I don't know where to start. Reframe. Let's build out my business plan and grow from there. So I know I've mentioned our business plan template already, and I really hope you did click on that video and grab it. It's free. You should do it. Matter of fact, it's going to be down in the description in the show notes below. So grab it there if you need to. But when I tell you having a business plan helps create confidence and allows you to build out all of your business from where you're at right now to where you want to be in a certain period of time where you see it growing into. That confidence is life changing. Additionally, if you're wanting to file for funding, do crowdfunding for your business. When you have your LLC, even just figuring out, do I need an LLC? Do I need an S-Corp? How do I want to actually build my entity for my business? When you're working out your offers, when you're figuring out your target audience, the business plan that you build out is going to quite literally have that going from day one within your business. And as your business grows, your business plan is also going to grow with it. 
one of the infamous stories that we have here at IGC is when Liv and Katie, the founders of IGC, brought up the business. They actually wrote up the business plan on a napkin. That napkin is now 100 pages long, and it's constantly changing and moving as the company grows from that t- team of two to now a team of 20. That happened over the course of 10 years, and it's still scaling today. If you want to be able to have a sustainable business, you have to be able to build out your business plan and grow from there. Yes, entrepreneurship is scary. Yes, we all had no idea where to start, but you have to start from somewhere. And so starting with that business plan and letting it grow without it being perfect because you have to take action, even if it's messy, then you'll make it happen. So limiting belief. Entrepreneurship is scary and I don't know where to start. Reframe. Let's build out my business plan and grow from there. The final limiting belief and reframe that we have for today is one, limiting belief. I feel like a fraud and no one will take me seriously. To two, reframe. I'm educated and well-trained in my area of expertise. Listen, if you have a degree, whether it be an associate's, a bachelor's, a master's, a PhD in what you do, if you have years of experience in what you do, if you have training in what you do, if you have certifications and credentials in what you do, you are not a fraud. Whatever is telling you in your brain that you are a fraud is yourself. It is your inner child or the pain that you went through as a child that's telling you that. It is your classmates or a former lover or boyfriend. It is uh, former friends of yours or even current friends now that when they hear you talk about your business idea, they think, oh, you can't do that. You don't do anything right. Or, oh, well, you tried all these things in the past and it never worked out then. Why would this work out now? Or maybe you should take a few things off of your plate. There's no way you can get that done in this short amount of time respectfully flip a table and bump that we are not going to sit here and feel like a fraud because whatever we went through in our past life is not informing what we're doing now in the present time to make a difference in our lives you can do anything you want to do and as long as you have the time the effort the training the resilience the practice and the discipline to build the business that you want and be, un- be unafraid to fail, and then succeed, you'll be fine. But you are not a fraud, my love. No one in here is telling you a fraud at all. In fact, everyone in this space, myself included, anyone on the ITC team and in the community, believes in you wholeheartedly. The big thing is, do you believe in yourself? I hope with that reframe, you're able to. So let's say it together one more time. We're going from the limiting belief of I feel like a fraud and no one will take me seriously to I'm educated and well-trained in my area of expertise. All right. So we went through five different limiting beliefs to reframes. Typically, whenever I build out a reframe with the client, I ask them what is informing that actual limiting belief in the first place and what reframe would help empower them to make a difference in their life and change that limiting belief to an affirmation. I hope you take those questions and use them in your coaching sessions. And I hope that these reframes that can help you sit in being an entrepreneur and think more like an entrepreneur help you make great decisions as you build your business and take steps into being an entrepreneur. I want to make sure I get this because I almost forgot. If you felt really motivated by this episode, if you love this episode, if you're saying, hey, I'm ready to have the structure and the people in my lives to make my business happen, and I really want to be a life coach, then I want to invite you to the IGC Coaching School Open House happening on Monday, February 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a great opportunity for you to go in, learn more about the IGC Coaching School, learn how we do our operations inside of coach training, learn all of the ins and outs of what running a coaching business could look like and how much you could potentially make as a coach. Like I said, we believe in you, but we also want you to believe in yourself. So meet us on Monday. We'd love to see you. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section or shoot us a DM on our Instagram. If you loved this episode, please give it a like below. Don't forget to subscribe to the IGC Coaching School and do me a favor. Give me a limiting belief that you believed in the path down below and a reframe that you can start saying to yourself as you go through this process. I love you. I adore you. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.